Hi guys, it's Elisa at Moat Cottage and today I'm going to show you how I trim the flight feathers of a Muscovy duck and also tell you what to watch out for. This applies to other poultry as well. You may need to trim the wing feather of your duck if it can fly out and it's going to get eaten by predators. So my ducks are in an open area where they can free range. However, I do have high fences around that area and if they fly out of that, then predators will get them. So that's why I trim one wing only of the Muscovy duck. I don't need to trim the drakes because they're too heavy to get over the six to eight foot fences. But I definitely need to keep my girls safe. You need to make sure the wing feathers are fully grown out before you cut because when the wing feathers are growing out, they have blood running through the middle and you don't want to cut them because it hurts the bird and they bleed for ages and they can be difficult to stop. They can also get infections and become a target from the other birds as well and get picked on and they can even die. If you accidentally cut a blood feather, you can rub some salve in it, uh, like that's like a beeswax and coconut oil mix um, or some petroleum jelly. And then you put corn flour in it to stop the bleeding. You'll have to separate the bird from the rest of the flock for a few days and make sure that it, the bleeding does stop and that the bird is well before it goes back into the coop. But if you wait for the feathers to fully grow out each year before you cut, then you'll be fine. It makes it easier if you have an assistant. This is my daughter, Nikki. Hi. So Nikki, what are your tips for holding the duck to trim the wing? Well, one of my tips is to hold it very calmly and not too tight and softly, holding its feet with one hand. And if it's easier for you, you can hold it at the base of the neck so it's a bit easier and you can have it somewhat stabilized. Mm -hmm. And they might get a bit fighty, like this one's trying to be. You just need to, what I do is I calmly rock it back and forth like it is like a child. And this usually calms them down because they, I don't know what it does, it just makes them a bit more calmer and they calm down quite easily. These birds aren't used to being picked up at all. Okay, this is where we want to trim the wing here, just across there. And I'm using some sharp scissors for the job. And then we just cut. So see how they've all grown out. They're not growing, they've, they've finished growing, so they're not full of blood. There we go. So that's what the wing looks like now. The wing will last about a year like that, and when they molt, it will grow back, and when it's fully grown out, that's when you do it again. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe and you can also follow us over on Instagram. Thanks for watching. See you soon.